Okay, so this is my test flight, Maiden of the Gyro, a Richard Harris design. It's a, a prototype at the moment. So I'm just gonna test it and see how I go with it. Bit of a crosswind at the moment, unfortunately. Just comes and goes. It's trimming out yet, so I'm going to trim it. Needs a bit of right trim. Well, that was alright for a first hop. <laughs> Blade's got speed and uh, working for it. These are shorter than uh, what Richard Harris. Uh, recommended. These are 650 long by 55 millimeters wide and uh, that, that seemed okay to me. Let's uh, go again. One turn. We've got a crosswind unfortunately which is not going to help anything is it? No. <laughs> now that would have been a crosswind that caused that. But no damage. And uh, it's modular, it's quite heavy though. It's modular, which basically means if I break a part, I only have to make the part that's broken and can bolt it back on. So. Let me just show you that while we've got the option. So, as you can see there, the mast is bolted in. So if I break the mast, I just need to put a new mast in and bolt it back in. If I break the boom, I can just put a new boom in and bolt that back in. If I break the tail plane, I can bolt that back in as well. So, it's been made so that if that part breaks, you can uh, easily fix it and get it going. I mean, I suppose if you're learning, the ideal thing would be to bring some spare parts with you <laughs> build the model twice although I can't see the front end of this I can't see the front end here breaking to be honest it'll be the boom or, or the rotor shaft or tail plane that, that would break in my opinion it is quite heavy I haven't weighed it to be honest
Oh, she certainly flies, doesn't she, Richard? She certainly does fly. So there we go, that's uh, Richard Harris's uh, new up and coming design, hopefully it'll be in the RCME soon. It's uh, a magazine published here in the UK, so uh, keep your eyes out for that if uh, this is something you would be interested in. Being bolter and uh, ply, spruce, something you should be able to make easy enough. Seems to be coping okay in the wind. It's uh, quite breezy today. Probably because it's heavier. It's a lot heavier than my little glide, little auto gyro version. Flies all right, I'm happy with this. Only a uh, well to be expected, <laughs> a little bit of trimming I had to do. suppose I'd better try landing and <laughs> see how well it lands. That's, that's what I like about these auto jars is you can fly them in close and I've got the field to miss out so I'll fly around. There you go, perfect that one. Let's see what I've got left in my battery. Well done Richard, that's another great design of yours, I approve, <laughs> and it works fine on my blades, um, so that's 650mm long and 55mm wide, um, using the new auto gyro plate that you specified which has a, an anti-strike plate underneath it. Okay, I'm using a Emax uh, BL 28, 15, 09 prop and I'm using a uh, 12 inch B5 or 4 prop on there. It's not an APC, it was the only one I had to hand, So, but that flies fine. And a 3S 2200 milliamp uh, battery. And there I have uh, the red parts there is just coloured tape. So I've just wrapped coloured tape around the undercarriage leg, wrapped tape on there and there. 
uh, that solar film or something of that case. Uh, this is also coloured packing tape as well on the uh, blades and uh, yeah I'm happy with that. Right let's go and check my battery. Right. Disconnect there, switch off, 